Another day, another EV brand. Today, we have with us the Infinity Bounce E1 electric scooter. And it's time to find out how this city scooter fares in everyday riding conditions. So, it's time to bounce. The scooter's main highlight is the portable or swappable battery. Yes, the 2 kilowatt hour battery pack can be easily removed from under the seat and you can either charge it at home or you can simply swap it for a fully charged unit from the company's battery swap stations. At present, the swap stations can be found at multiple locations in cities like Bengaluru and Hyderabad. On a full charge, Bounce Infinity claims the E1 can ride up to 85 kilometers, but in the real world, expect the range to be around 65 kilometers in eco mode and about 55 kilometers in the power mode. So we spent an entire afternoon riding the Bounce Infinity E1 and I've come back with some pretty mixed opinions about this scooter. I'll start with the positives first. Well, if you look at the E1, you'll notice that it has really understated styling unlike most modern day electric scooters. And it really plays in favors of the scooter. That's because in my opinion, all other electric scooters that I've seen so far really have over the top styling that really makes them stand out in the wrong way. But in the case of the E1, this suave, subtle styling really suits its overall appeal and on the streets, it feels like a normal everyday scooter. So that is one point in the favor of the E1. The other positive point that really caught my attention is that the E1's motor does not have that characteristic whining sound and therefore the riding experience is really refined and it actually feels like a premium product. Now let me talk about a few downsides that I noticed during my ride. For example, I feel that the plastic quality of the panels and the overall body could have been a little bit better. The panels could have been built out of thicker plastic because for the price, I feel that the overall quality is a bit flimsy. And as it turned out, the test piece that we rode today had some software glitches because of which there were some speed and performance issues. But I have been assured by the Bounce Infinity team that these issues will be taken care of and they won't make it to the production ready models. Now if we talk about the performance and overall riding dynamics of the E1, well, it was again a sort of a mixed bag. That's because for its pricing, for its appeal, I found the E1 to be slightly underpowered. Therefore, overtaking maneuvers made me think twice. But on the other hand, as I mentioned earlier, due to a refined motor and uh, the fact that it is feature loaded, it has a number of features such as cruise control. It has two riding modes, power and eco. And apart from that, there's also a drag assist that lets you push the scooter in case of a puncture. And likewise, there's also a reverse assist that helps you take out the scooter in tight or tricky spots. Factoring the refined motor and the number of features it has, I think the E1 has a lot of potential to be a great product overall. However, there are a lot of things that need to be taken care of before the scooter hits the streets. And I'm really hoping that the Bounce Infinity E1 really delivers on its promise of being the ideal city scooter. The E1 will cost you rupees 69,000 in Delhi, inclusive of all state and Fame 2 subsidies. The cost includes the price of the scooter, battery and charger. You can also opt for the battery as a service monthly subscription plan, where you only buy the scooter and rent the battery. That's where the company's battery swap stations come into play. With the latter scheme, the upfront price of the scooter can go as low as rupees 45,000 in Delhi.